vehicle, not a car, this jet powered vehicle achieved 1,026 kilometres an hour, which is uh, extremely fast. And if you can see there, sitting in the little right hand cockpit, uh, running on steel wheels, it would have been fairly frightening to do it. You'd really know you're going fast. It's just absolute pure thrust. It's a jet engine and it just pushes the air along. I mean, it's got a tail fin on it to try and keep it stabilising in a straight line. If it had wings, it'd probably take off. Steel wheels, because I just don't think they had the rubber uh, to be able to keep up with what it was doing. It would, just wouldn't hold the tyres on it. So the steel wheels, and once it had the lift, it was, the wheels were probably not touching the ground too hard at all. It's always a return as well, so it's a two-way. So they usually have to do it in uh, one way and then within a certain amount of time, come back and do it the opposite way. A lot of drivers have been killed attempting this land speed record attempts, going back to the early days of the, of the sands in England and the old sunbeams and cars that had a lot of casualties and a lot of deaths. It's just a pure expense of it. I think the Royal Air Force in England currently have the car that holds it at the moment. Um, and uh, that car, as you know, was spectacularly rolled over and nearly killed the uh, TV presenter that was in it at the time. But, um, you know, it, it, the cost of this is just extremely massive, extremely massive, engineering wise. Donald Campbell came here in the uh, late 50s, early 60s, I think it was. I mean, he set the world speed record here in Australia at Lake Eyre. And uh, that was very famous in the Bluebird. And uh, I think we've had uh, the world speed re boat records have been set here by Australians. And uh, the Aussie Invader 3, which this car went very close to it. I, I think it just didn't quite achieve it, but it's a, it's a magnificent piece of engineering. It's, it's not a classic car as such. We are a classic car museum, but. I mean, we've got to cater for everybody and the kids just love it. <laughs>